Non-Steam games get generic artwork and the icon of the executable for the game in the sidebar list if the game executable doesn't have an embedded icon file. That's the situation we ran into with our game. There is an icon file in the installation folder, but it's not embedded in the executable, so we get the ultra generic icon. Big picture view isn't any better. That's annoying because the whole point of big picture is to easily see your games, but with the generic artwork, you only know which game is which by reading the generic title text. Let's fix that. Before we actually start swapping in artwork, however, I need to outline what exactly you need for the different customization options. There are four things you can customize. Icons, small squares, just like desktop icons. Cover art, the large posters like movie cover art found in media organizers like Kodi or iTunes. Backgrounds, the big banner that shows up when you select a game in your library. And logos, the title card that appears on top of backgrounds. Here's what you need for each. Icons, these are standard icons. You'll need either an EXE with an embedded icon, like the EXE of the app itself if it has an icon you want, or the icon you want to use as a PNG or TGA file that's square, for example, 256 x 256 pixels, like a regular icon file, grids, or cover art. In the old Steam interface, these files were 940 x 430, but now they're 600 x 900 pixels. You can use PNG or JPG file types. Heroes Backgrounds. This is the large banner that appears in your library when you select a game. A good hero is 1920x620 pixels, and they can be JPG or PNG files. Logos. These images can be JPG or PNG images, and they vary in size, but are often around 650x248. Don't worry if you're not sure exactly how big or small it should be, since Steam lets you move and resize it after upload. Where can you find the right icons and artwork? Icons are pretty easy to come by. Most recent games will have the icon embedded right in the EXE. A quick search in Google Images will turn up alternatives if you don't like the icon you have or replacements for missing icons. Heroes, cover art, and logos are a little trickier as there are such diverse sizes compared and not all have fit the DVD type cover art. There are a few ways you could go about it. You could make custom artwork yourself, but that's time consuming. Fortunately, if you're short on time or Photoshop skills, there are several resources available. A good place to find artwork is Steam Grid DB, which lets you sort results by artwork type if you're looking specifically for icons, for example. It even has animated PNGs. Though, in our experience, these tend to cause the Steam client to lag. You can also search Google Images and use the size function to specify exactly 600 x 900 or another dimension you want. If you're not having luck with any of those, you can always hit up DeviantArt. You'll find individual images in packs. Now that you've taken a moment to find icons and banners for your game, it's time to actually apply them. Let's take a look at how the transformation works with your game. Put your Steam client in desktop mode. Now big picture mode, select library at the top of the app to view your games. In your library shelf or collection, right click on the entry for the game you wish to customize. Under manage, select set custom artwork. Steam will let you browse your PC for the custom artwork. When you find it, select it and hit open. Now in our collection we see the custom artwork has been applied. This new tile will appear on both your library shelves and big picture view for backgrounds and logos. In your Steam library, click the non-Steam game to which you want to add artwork. Um, then on the game page, right click the blank header image to see the available options. Now to set custom background, to add a custom hero image, set custom logo. To add a logo to your game, select this option. This will replace the plain text over the background image. 
After clicking either option, in your computer's standard open window, select your artwork. If the logo you added doesn't look right, in combination with the hero, right click again anywhere on the banner and click adjust logo position. You can move the logo around and resize it, then click done in the lower right corner of the banner. That's all there is to it. With a little tweaking and a few minutes spent searching for some quality icons and cover art, you can enjoy the same beautiful artwork on your non-Steam games as you come to expect from your Steam games. I also have a website, your ultimate destination for all things gaming and anime. Explore our store for a wide range of Steam Deck accessories, from parts to shell replacements, to enhance your gaming experience. But we're not just about gaming. We're also dedicated to bringing the world of Dragon Ball to fans everywhere. As the creators of Yellow Plays on YouTube and Decked Out Mods, I'm here to share our expertise and passion with you. Join our community of gamers and anime enthusiasts and let us elevate your gaming and Dragon Ball experience together.